Michael's new this morning. We are just days out from the Savin Rock Festival in West Haven. The town is gearing up for food, music, games, rides, uh, lots of stuff. There's also a plan underway to bring the park back to its former glory. News 8's Kent Pierce is live from the Savin Rock Museum with more. You seem to be having some fun there this morning, Kent. Absolutely. What's not to like here at the Savin Rock Museum? We've been having some fun with the old time carousel horse that they've got here. One of the original horses from one of the original carousels that made Savin Rock an amusement park that got people from Maine to New Jersey to come to West Haven. Now, they're trying to bring back a little piece of that, trying to bring back a carousel to the Savin Rock section of West Haven. Joining us this morning are some people on the Savin Rock Carousel Committee, including Michael Mercuriano, who's going to walk us through a couple of the ideas that are out there for bringing a carousel back here. We've got a couple of drawings to refer to as well. Yes, uh, we have two renderings here. <clears throat> and these were done uh, about four years ago. Uh, and uh, one of these uh, uh, renderings is the city's rendering of uh, what they wanted to put in as far as a carousel. And this is right next to the Savin Rock Conference Center where we are because the museum is on the ground floor of that. Yes, this is the conf uh, conference center with a building structure in front to house a 35 foot carousel. Mm -hmm. This is our rendition of what we want to put in. We want to put a vintage uh, PTC uh, carousel, museum quality, 60 foot, into uh, the same structure, only uh, bringing back some of the old, uh, beautiful structures that we used to have down here at Southern Rock. There's some whimsy to that, some, mm -hmm. some of the old structure there that we remember from when uh, Seven Rock was this glorious thing that would get people from miles around, right? Yes, uh, th those, uh, the top of the uh, buildings there uh, are rendition to um, uh, the old uh, Seven Rock Theater, which was built sure. by uh, uh, the same builder that built Carnegie Hall in New York City. Uh, so uh, there was a lot of history here, a oh, lot absolutely. of history. But in the future, in three days, the Savin Rock Festival begins. You're going to be asking people for pledges to help make this dream a reality, right? Absolutely, yes. And uh, not a dime out of your pockets, just a form you have to sign pledging. When we need the money, we're going to call on you. Uh, and also, the uh, first 300 out uh, gets a free T-shirt. That'll start at 12 o'clock on Saturday. Getting back, uh, okay. Uh, that's all the time we got for now, oh, but okay. come, we got another hit coming up in about a half an hour. We're going to okay. talk more about the history of Savin Rock, and we're going to talk to a woman who has actually collected some other carousel horses in town, too, if I can convince her to go live with us. She's, she's hesitant over there. We'll, we'll find out in half an hour. Live at the Savin Rock Museum, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you. With